Okay, so today we're going to do a uh, introduction to the um, Kjetronic injection system, which was featured in a lot of uh, Porsches, most of the European marks, makes, and um, so many others. It was very common during the 70s and early 80s, and uh, it's still very widely used, or still very widely exists now. Um, first off, we've got here the um, the uh, idle speed control valve, which mainly works with the uh, cold start and in the warm up period. You can see here that there's a uh, wiring plug which works a bimetal spring, which in turn operates a valve in this area here, where it closes off the um, airflow uh, to reduce the amount of uh, idle speed and when it's cold it opens right up to increase the idle speed to approximately 1500 revs. So that's uh, quite a, an important part. It has a diaphragm inside and seals and it um, actually is uh, quite important for the uh, idle speed. Moving right along over here, we go to the uh, warm-up regulator, which again, we have a uh, ter wiring terminal, which goes on to another bimetal spring, and uh, or bimetal strip, which um, as it warms up, as the uh, engine warms up, it, um, Open, it controls the uh, fuel system pressure. So you've got the inlet or inlet and outlet hoses here or pipes here for the uh, fuel system, which that uh, controls the mixture for the different um, conditions of the engine. And uh, the higher the pressure, the leaner the engine runs, the lower the pressure, the, high, the richer the uh, engine runs. Down here we have the uh, vacuum port where it has a vacuum hose onto it and that controls the uh, mixture at different vacuum levels in or load le uh, bands in the engine. So it's, uh, it has a lot of control over the engine. It does give problems sometimes but once the uh, warm-up regulator is working correctly, then it's just set and forget, forget almost. The, um, they're actually quite reliable uh, up until, a, you know, sort of quite a few years into their life. Um, the next component along here is the um, airflow control uh, and sensor plate which that senses the amount of uh, airflow that is going through the engine and works a uh, cantilever, which I'll get to in a moment. And that in turn operates a plunger, which works in the center of the uh, fuel distributor head. So each of these uh, ports uh, represents a cylinder in the engine and um, the fuel is distributed through these ports out to each of the cylinders. The uh, airflow, airflow sensor uh, is actually, uh, you can see the actual uh, sensor plate is up at the moment and that moves up and down to con control the um, piston inside the um, fuel head to help determine how much fuel flow gets through to there and, and in turn to the cylinders. We come around this side here and we have the uh, inlet and outlet ports for the um, fuel. One side's under pressure, the other side's a return line. And if we have uh, everything working correctly, the fuel flows through there and back to the fuel tank. And it's governed by the uh, the fuel pressure is governed by the uh, warm up regulator, which you can still see over the back there. This uh, wiring plug here, that's a uh, fuel cutout switch, and uh, that 
stops the engine running or it cuts out the fuel pump if for some reason the engine stalls or if there's an accident and you um, the engine stops and therefore it uh, cuts it out so it doesn't create a uh, fire hazard. Um, now I'll just turn this over. Now underneath you can actually see that cantilever here. Now that's weighted up this end and you can see how far that um, sensor plate and cantilever move. Now all the um, settings on that sensor plate are critical including its uh, height at rest it has to be level with i don't know whether you can see it but there's a lip there and it has to be level with that as it uh, comes to rest and the sensor plate itself needs to be um, central to that orifice so that it can actually uh, have even airflow through it so now that we've done this we'll uh, move over to the um, engine of the car and show just where these components sit now you can see down in there i'll get in a bit closer the uh, idle control valve that's sitting right down in there so that's where you find that one we move over here you can see right there is the um, warm-up regulator and that is uh, quite easily uh, got to because this hose here comes off this one here comes off and makes it a lot more accessible than what it looks at the moment now if we come around this side you can see the uh, fuel distributor head and that's up there the sensor plate is in here and I don't know whether we'll be able to see it or not but there's the cantilever inside there and you can probably yeah you can see that moving so that's where it all fits in the car now uh, the other key component to this one is it is just fitted the um, blower valve in the intake um, in that plastic box which is known as the KJET K box and you can see here that it's like a supercharger blower valve if the engine backfires then that pops up releases the pressure stops the box blowing up and uh, makes it all a bit safer and if we come around this way here I don't know whether we'll be able to see it but in there at the bottom of this hose we have the throttle body which is what your foot is directly connected to so there we go we have the uh, basics of the Kjetronic system and uh, down there of course we have the distributor which um, is key to the way these engines run they're absolutely critical on them and um, as a bit of an overview, that's, um, that's where we are.